fellow hobbyists, collectors, and preds alike, I want to welcome you back to my channel if you are a regular subscriber, but if you're new to my channel, this is Predator Collectibles and I am your host, Glennon Taylor. We take a look at anything from action figures, comic book statues, prop replicas, underneath the Predator franchise, and on today's video, we're going to be looking at the 3D bag clips from Monogram, and this is also a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, limited to 250 pieces at a retail price of $25, and if you by any chance were not able to get this at their booth, 3645, make sure you stick around to the end of this video, because I'm going to show you exactly how you can get these at a retail price of the $25 mark. Now, what's really cool about these is the fact that you do get all three characters, the Alien Queen, the Xenomorph Egg, which glows in the dark, and the Elder Predator as well. So without further ado, I'm very excited to have this in my collection, so let's go ahead and start this review. I really do like this box that comes with a three-pack, mainly because it does show off the figures. It has the window treatment to show off exactly all three of them in depth and detail. But what's really cool is what they decided to do with the packaging it gives you this nice rainbow shiny tinfoil effect so whenever angle that you throw it in it does give it a nice good sheen or shine so i really think that's really cool to show that this is a preview of what's to come from monogram at least i hope this is going to be more that they're going to bring to the table because uh, i'm really excited about showing more characters from this line the alien versus predator not just the queen elder but hopefully scar celtic chopper and a few other characters as well. The first character we're going to be looking at as a bag clip is the Alien Queen, mainly because I do really like the way that Monogram has, you know, the small body, big head design, and it does have all the detail of the Alien Queen as it should. It even has her six spikes on the back, the Alien Tail. It's usually what it is is the lines that make up the character, including the mouth. But it definitely has the lines. Without the lines. Yeah, it has the shape of the Alien Queen, but the detail is right there as far as the cutout and all the details that are seem to be etched into the character itself. And I really do like this Alien Queen shape, which is still different and it sticks with Monogram's design as far as their concept and everything like that. And it does come with attached a plastic bag clip. So overall, it's simple, but you definitely know it's the Alien Queen when you look at it based upon how they were able to etch each line and I really do like that depth and detail. So that's really, really cool. The next character in the bag clip box is we're gonna be looking at the Predator Elder. And this is actually one I really can't wait to possibly get a hold of, a loose one so I can wear it around. And the reason I like this so much is because even though you have the Alien Queen etched as far as her details, this has way more depth and detail than any other of the three out of this three pack. So you have the dreads, you have the gold beads that were etched and painted. He even has the ceremonial spear that he gives to Lex at the end of the movie. He even has his quills that should reflect his age. And he also has his bio helmet that he's holding, which is simple in design, but basically again, on that etching detail and lines, it does give that indication that yes, he has the skulls, but also has the bio helmet as well. I really do like this a lot. Hopefully I can find, like I said, a loose one so I can wear it around wherever I go as a bag clip to show my fandom of how much I like Predator. So this is probably my favorite out of the three, but that's a given. But I'm really excited even more so about the Xenomorph Egg, so let's get into that one. So again, the next bag clip we're holding is right now the Alien Xenomorph slash Facehugger Egg, and this is really neat, and I'll explain why here in a minute. But you may not be able to see it per the camera, but the way I angle it, you should be able to see the face hugger and the etchings on the egg. So the face hugger is crawling around the egg, outside from the top, around to the front, and it does have the egg details on the back as well. But I really do like the 3D shape as opposed to it just being flat. But the all time most favorite part of this is the glow in the dark feature itself. That's how bright the glow in the dark is of this egg. I mean, this is just ridiculously crazy. I don't even have to change my settings on this because this is how again bright this egg is. Normally I have to change my settings for the camera to pick up the glow, but I don't have to change the settings at all on this particular egg. I mean, this is ridiculous and how bright this is. 
So it lights up, maybe not my face, but yeah, this is how bright the alien egg is. So you can see every detail for the face hugger wrapping around. This is by far the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is probably about the brightest glow in the dark object predator related I have in my collection as well. So kudos to you, Monogram. That is awesome. I must say that I'm really happy and stoked to have these little things in my collection. I think they're really neat and fun to have. So kudos to you, Monogram, for making this a possibility for us as predator collectors. Now, if you by any chance were not again able to go to the con this year, that's where Entertainment Earth is gonna help us as Predator fans to getting these into our collection. And that link will be down in the description below at the then $24.99 price point as it was at the con. And I do personally believe that compared to Monogram, unfortunately they had a FedEx huge price gouge on their shipping. But Entertainment Earth will help you regarding that and you won't have to pay those ridiculous shipping prices. But also keep in mind that because it was Alien vs. Predator themed, I had my backdrop changed to do so. I have my Hero Cross and my Eagle Moss Scar Predators, which I also did a review on, and I'll leave a link for those videos up here. And if by any chance you are a Predator fan, make sure you click on that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. It helps out the channel, it helps out you to make sure that you're notified when all my videos are, are uploaded every week. And if you by any chance found this to be really cool and fun to look at, give me a thumbs up. It also does help out the channel as well. But keep in mind, I do a live stream at the end of every single month, which will be at this month is August 31st, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. to talk about everything that happened Predator related for this month. So again, guys, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I have. I'll see you next week for another San Diego Comic-Con review. Happy hunting.